Okay, Petro here. Uh, good afternoon. And I got turned on to this spot right here on the uh, on the West Harpeth River. The West Harpeth River is a tributary of the Harpeth River. It's right over here. And it's not very big. It's pretty small. But uh, there was a major battle that happened here um, right here in this field on, on the other side of, of the river here. If I can get down this steep ass hill. Um, on December the 19th, this is uh, a few weeks after the major battle with Franklin happened. And um, so uh, right here in the West Harpeth, uh, the little river right here, you'll see um, uh, a major battle happened right here in the Civil War. And I'm here looking for uh, uh, Civil War memorabilia. You know, uh, uh, the, the Holy Grail would be to find a sword. You know, a Civil War sword. But uh, what most people find here are old bullets. Uh, uh, I did, I've did. i seen a video where a guy actually found a musket, uh, a Civil War rifle uh, uh, with bayonet in, in one of these rivers. So all throughout this area right here, uh, there's Civil War memorabilia in the ground. I do have my metal detector with me. Uh, I got a little shovel here and uh, my little uh, uh, wand metal detector I can find. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna kind of walk around and kind of check it out and see if I, if I can find anything um, just by looking around. Uh, major battle of the Civil War happened right here. Okay, as I'm looking at it, uh, the grass is kind of high here and I do have on some uh, hiking boots and I got a snake stick. Now the sun is out, so uh, you really have to worry about that here in Tennessee because uh, these water moccasins here, man, they're just dumb and they'll come right at you. You gotta watch out for them and the copperheads too. But uh, I got some snake boots, actual snake boots, uh, uh, water boots that um, come up pretty high and uh, they're really thick to protect you from, uh, from snakes. I got them in the back of the truck here. I'm gonna put those on before I go walking down there and looking. Wow, okay, we made it down here to the West Harpeth. It's really pretty, and you can, uh, the water's crystal clear. I mean, you can pretty, you can see right through the water. Um, looks like an old gate over here from, uh, from a, a fence or something. Over here, see that? The pipe of the ground. Okay, no telling what we're going to find. This is actually perfect. This is legit perfect because I can see the bottom and it's not deep at all. Beautiful little uh, rapids over there, but it's um, not too slick. So I can kind of just walk straight through, straight through here. Um, try to stay in spots where it doesn't get too deep. Get over the top of my boots. But still, if I get my feet wet, that's not a problem at all. Now, I do have a new phone. I got the new iPhone 14 something, whatever it is. Uh, I just got it yesterday. I had an upgrade available. So we'll see uh, how the quality on this camera, you know, is to um, uh, uh, my other phone. I had an iPhone 12, I think.
This is like the third uh, uh, fence that I've uh, walked across um, right here. I guess these fences get, get washed out when, uh, when it floods. But look at this right here. My God, it's beautiful right up there. It looks like it's getting a little bit deeper up there. So I'll probably concentrate my area, my area of looking right around this area that I'm at. Uh, my God, is it beautiful. It is so beautiful here. And uh, what a great little hike. And, um, you know, I keep uh, spotting things in the water. Uh, it's really easy to see. It's really clear. And uh, just keep, be patient and keep looking. Be patient and keep looking. Keep it slow. Uh, uh, and keep your eyes peeled for anything that looks uh, uh, out of the ordinary, you know. You can see some deer tracks where some deer came through here. Right there. See those? Now, up in these riverbanks right here, that's a good spot to look to. You know, if a major battle happened here, uh, uh, bullets would have been flying, you know, from here to there. Uh, I've read about the battle, and they said that the, uh, the Union soldiers pushed the Confederates up to the back right here, literally right at this spot. They pushed them right back up here, and fighting would have been happening. They actually were able to uh, to seize the, the Confederates' cannons right here in this spot. Uh, uh, so there would have been bullets flying all through here. You know, I don't think any of these trees are witness trees. Maybe the one that's over here by where I parked. But, uh, or maybe this big one right over here. Um, I think it's a little too deep right over there. I'm going to walk over this little island right here, uh, which is a great spot to look. Because on um, these islands kind of catch things when, when the river's flowing uh, really fast that are tumbling on the bottom. So I'll, I'll go over there and check that out. Okay, I've been looking and looking and checking this spot right here. I got made it over to this little rock island right here. And uh, what I saw from the one guy on YouTube that I watch, I forget his name, but what he said is you get these sticks like this and they can't be too big because they need to be able to move with the water but you get these sticks like this and you stick them into the ground in the river like that and you leave it there and put like four or five of them in a row just like that and what happens and you want to come back in like two or three weeks and what happens is as the water is coming and rushing this way things will catch right there in front of the stick so uh, um Things that are tumbling down the river, getting pushed, will stick right there. And uh, I've seen this guy use this technique to find uh, artifacts. And uh, I've been out here for a little while now. And uh, um, I, I found uh, uh, an old piece of wood that looked like it came off of something. Uh, but as soon as I picked it up, it fell apart in my hand uh, for being in the river. Man, I'm telling you, up here... Uh, it, it, a whole bunch of like uh, uh, trees and rock islands. If I can get over there, uh, that's a great spot to look too. It just looks a little deep. I might be able to cross, you know, over there. But I think I'm going to keep looking just in this area right here because uh, it's just prime location, and uh, uh, this is where it's not too deep, and I can see right through it. of metal cable sitting here at the bottom of the river on the stick. 
Good snake stick. Okay, I saw something here that was a different color than uh, everything else that I've seen looking around, but I'm having to wait for, I moved the mud, and I'm having to wait for the mud to go away uh, so I can see where it was at again. I don't want to disturb it anymore, but um, what I've seen online, uh, the uh the bullets that they used in the civil war um uh they were made out of lead so when you find them nowadays when i see the guys walking in the river finding them they're kind of like a white color and that's what you look for and that's just the lead that's been oxidized and uh and has turned it kind of a white color okay the water is cleared now and i don't know if you can see what i can see but i see like a white thing sticking out right there um i can zoom in on that but right there, let's see what that is. Let's zoom back out a little bit. I just can't walk too fast or the mud is going to get it. Oh, I think that I see the white. find right there keep your eyes open keep your eyes peeled you'll find it be patient keep looking you got to go to the spots where they're going to be at where am i at i'm right here on this battlefield that's right on the other side of the bank and there is civil war history this is uh what they would call a, a, a mini bullet and uh, these killed most of the people in the civil war died by these bullets and it's heavy as hell and uh I want to get it cleaned up. There's dirt and all kinds of stuff on it. Uh, I don't know if this one was fired. There's a little bit of inconsistency and bent on the back end. Maybe it was fired. And maybe it just hit just right there and didn't even uh, didn't even bust. Wow. Okay. Uh, woo. It's got my heart pumping now. Wow. Can you believe that? Like finding something like this really gets your heart pumping. And uh, man, now I've disturbed my whole area. And uh, the mud's clouding up everything. Dang it. Wow, I'm just too excited. This is uh, a find of a lifetime, really. Um, I just can't believe it. Well, I'm going to grab my snake stick and my trophy here. I've mucked up all the mud over here. And I'm going to go looking over here in this direction. Um, where I haven't mucked up the mud. And continue looking. Now I know what, 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 what it looks like and the color of it. And uh, that's what you're looking for, sticking out in these stones in, in this riverbed. And, uh, you know, you got to understand, it's not like you just go in any riverbed in Tennessee and you're going to find this. I'm actually at a, a battlefield site. So uh, I did planning and preparation for this trip for a little bit. 
Uh, I'm actually only 15 minutes from my house. And uh, where I was with Hector uh, looking at that, um, uh, that abandoned gas station is only a few minutes from, from this location where I'm at right here. But man, is it pretty. And I got glory again. See right here, it looks like an old towel or something. An old blanket. Something. Oh no, it's a bag with something in it. Oh no, I don't know if I want to see what's in that bag. Where's my snake stick? Oh no, what's in the bag? It was heavy. Uh, I think uh, I think I'd rather not know. Yeah, whatever's in the bag, staying in the bag. I'm gonna leave that alone. I don't feel like knowing. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Well, I was trying to go that way and I sunk in that mud right there. Try to get around the other side of the uh, of the uh, of the bridge. Oh wow! Look, here's the old old bridge that used to be here, the old stone bridge. Wow, this is cool. Check this out. Man, is it beautiful? Uh, this bridge looks pretty old, but here's the old stone bridge, and uh, I believe this one was blown up too by the uh by the confederates so the uh wow okay here's another one of these blown up bridges from civil war that's the old columbia pike i mean this is the new columbia pike bridge and this is the old one right here uh, right by where i found that uh that civil war bullet um wow and this uh, i'm sure on the other side is where that is man look how cool now uh Wow, this is how they used to do it, just like that. Bud Light. What up? Petro. Little waterfall. West Harpeth River right here. Civil War battlefield. Just found a Civil War bullet. Uh, uh, possibly a uh, uh, Confederate. They had the two rings and the Union soldiers had three rings around those Millie bullets and the uh, Millie balls. And I uh, found that right over here. Amazing. And I'm Petro. That's how you do it here in Tennessee. I'm out.